guys, what's up? Greg here, and welcome back to Pi Game. Today, I'll be adding a camera to our car so that it follows around the sprite when I move it. So right now, we only have basic movement, which means we'll only be able to go up, down, left, and right. But in the next episode, we will set up a finite state machine so we can go up, down, left, and right, and it will actually switch the sprite as well. To start out this episode, let's set up the camera. So I'm just going to set up uh, the camera, and we are going to say cam x equals 250 and cam y equals 250 as well. Then we'll need to tween where the camera should be. So let's go right down here under the update. Let's say tween camera. And this will be cam x plus equals the screen width. Screen width, perfect. Divided by two. Minus the player x and uh, we'll do oh we need three so a third one player x minus cam dot x or underscore x times 0 0.01 perfect and we'll do the same thing for cam y so cam y plus equals one two three Green height, and we do divided by two minus player dot y and minus cam underscore y. We'll do times zero point zero one, perfect. And then we'll want to render it. So under render, we're going to say render cam underscore x comma cam underscore y comma player. Also up here in this render function, we're going to want to add the camera here. So you're just going to do 0 plus cam x, 0 plus cam y. And then you're going to render cam x, cam y, and the screen. So here in the render in the player class, we're actually going to uh, have self, cam x, and cam y. So do cam x, cam y, and the screen. And we'll do self dot rect dot x plus equals cam x and self dot rect dot y plus equals cam underscore y. So then we do the screen doublet. So yeah, actually this is good. So this splits the car and the rectangle. So let's try this out. All right, so make sure you are rendering the screen. Screen here, everything should be good to go. Hit play and we can move around. And it actually shows that the camera is moving around this rectangle. So we can make it look like everything is going away from the other objects in the world, which is pretty cool. In the next episode, we'll have more movement, have uh, more facing stuff. So if you're facing up, it'll actually move the car up to a different uh, sprite. So I have four different sprites, and then I might even make some for the diagonals too, but uh, we'll see. My plan is to generate some trees and some bushes, maybe even roads at some point, and uh, just let you like travel wherever you want. Maybe you have a delivery service, where if you uh, deliver so many pizzas, you get a better car, which is faster. And the faster delivery you get, uh, more money or something like that. I'll have all the code on GitHub for you, so stick around. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.